Mortal Kombat 11 is one of the most impressive looking games to come out in 2019. With amazing facial animations, shadows, lighting, and post-processing effects. That's beside the fact that the game is really fun, with complex fight sequences and a thrilling storyline. I must consult with the Elder Gods. Because of Mortal Kombat 11's impressive presentation, I just had to take a look at the renderer to see what was powering those awesome graphics, and I'm eager to share what's in it. Note, this is not an official analysis of their renderer. Please support Mortal Kombat 11 by purchasing a copy of it to see this tech in action. Each frame starts with the Shadow Pass. Each shadow map is composed of a 4 times super sampled SSAA Shadow Depth Stencil Map, which is then converted to a 4 channel Moment Shadow Map, MSMs, with each channel storing Z, Z squared, Z to the 3rd, and Z to the 4th. This map is later used in a Shadow Resolve Pass prior to lighting. The result is some of the best shadow quality raster based shadow methods can offer. This scene had three shadow casting lights encoded in a texture array. The general pass stood out for looking pretty strange in Mortal Kombat 11. There are four feature buffers storing compressed data such as luminosity, view space normals on the x-axis, linear depth, which implies that Mortal Kombat uses meter units, and odd data such as dithered ambient occlusion and material IDs. Prior to the ambient occlusion pass, View space normals are reconstructed from their compressed G buffers, and a hierarchical Z buffer is computed. Then ambient occlusion was computed with those buffers in combination with a 32x32 32 32 blue noise texture array of size 8. Specular lighting takes advantage of image based lighting from a 512x512 512 512 cube map, as well as lights in the scene, and is computed in patches with a compute shader which writes to two buffers one for direct specular light and one for indirect. The diffuse lighting pass also uses a compute shader and is done in patches. Volumetric lighting is done using linear depth and a scattering and transmission texture. As standard in temporal anti-aliasing, a velocity buffer is used to reproject previous samples over to get a final anti-aliased result. All UIs in Mortal Kombat are rendered to a separate render target, then layered on top of the final tone mapped result. Mortal Kombat is arguably one of the best looking games of the raster based rendering generation. If you have any suggestions for a game to analyze, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.